today's day zero because tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow's the day. Yep. We leave. We go and hit the road full time in the RV. And we're headed up to Huntsville first. Yep. We're actually going to be staying at Redstone Arsenal, which is on a military installation. You ready? You ready to go? All right. Let's go. Well, I made it here. That was a <laughs> show, though. <laughs> it was, man. Like, it's supposed to take us like almost four hours. Yeah. Is what it was supposed to take us. It took us how long? Five. Over five. A little over, a little, five a little over five hours. Because we did a pit stop that we normally would not. Have done. We weren't planning on making a pit stop, but we had to because there was major construction in Birmingham, and it was there was no detour. Yeah. Like the way that we were supposed to go, it just uh, looped us around and shot us back the direction we came from and said, uh, but it said find an alternate route. Sorry. It didn't even yeah. like, it's like, offer uh, an this, alternate this is route. closed. <laughs> Please find an alternate route. That's what it said. I'm like, that's the, you find an alternate route for me. I towing yeah, a fifth wheel through Birmingham. I've I don't never know seen that. So we had to go all the way back out of Birmingham and then go, go around it. Around up the other way yeah which added an hour yeah, to our thing and then um because we had to do that we didn't end up gas for the for this lake yeah because that was through city that wasn't really yeah and it's a it's a very nice campground we'll show you guys yeah. a little bit around but we're here and scout is getting settled in Let's and we got in. everything set up so first stop huntsville and uh, <laughs> hopefully it was a little kink in the first little little leg there but but I'm going to anticipate that every time. You got to anticipate a little something going wrong every time. Because yeah. when you go through the city, you don't know what they're doing at the time. Yeah, but it wasn't. Um, it wasn't catastrophic because, I mean, we're not in a hurry. No, but it was just annoying. It is annoying. Because we don't know the Birmingham area. Yeah, and it was a little frustrating uh, when you're going south. It should be going north, so you know every minute you're going south. <laughs> Is Put a add an extra north. time to your <laughs> trip, and it wasn't fun. And Scout's already out checking out the new scenery that he's got because he's going to get new scenery every week. Yeah. So he's going to be excited be about bored. that. We're going to go check out Huntsville and hopefully have fun. Yes. All right, let's go. Now we're hanging out in downtown Huntsville. Very nice down here. Beautiful. It's a little warm. It's not one today. <laughs> but it's awesome out here. Downtown yeah. is very beautiful in Huntsville. Uh, we're hanging out with the ducks and the koi, and uh, we just came back from the Veterans Museum. Yeah, and memorial. didn't show too much of that because if you show weapons on YouTube, they limit how much they'll share that and how much they'll monetize that. So can't show too much of uh, veteran or war memorial museums. Uh, so that kind of stinks. So this is the world's first Jeep. 
Like not the first model, like the first Jeep ever. Serial number one. So if you want to see the first Jeep ever, you have to come to Huntsville. But we did put some pictures up on our Facebook and Instagram, so you can put pictures and stuff like that on there. So we did it on there. So if you want to see that, you can go and check it out on our Facebook or Instagram. But um, the memorial, uh, the the monument area. Yeah. What was that place called? Uh, the Veterans Vet Monument. Mon Monumental Park. Yeah, Veterans Monumental Park was super cool. Yeah. Very cool. It's Very just a little impressive. little spot downtown, but it's just full of stuff. You know, honoring veterans and, and fallen heroes and different conflicts and so yeah. it's really cool. Today we're going to explore a little bit on the installation in Redstone Arsenal. If you go to the Space and Rocket Center and you do the bus tour, it'll bring you out to where we're at now. We're at the Rocket Park on Redstone Arsenal. And then we're going to go check out the um, Rocket Test Site. There's a place on post where they used to test shooting rockets. Yes. And uh, I have no idea what it's, what it's about, but uh, we didn't take the bus tour because we can get on post pretty easily because we have our retired uh, ID card. So we figured the bus tour is kind of, I don't know what else they do waste. on the bus tour. Yeah, but um, if you don't want to do the bus tour at their Space and Rocket Center and you want to come see these, you just got to come through the gate. They'll do a little background check and they'll let you in as a visitor. And then you can come check out the Rocket Park and the test Rocket site. Test Site. Yeah, But if you got warrants, <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't try to come through the gate. <laughs> Just take the bus tour, man. <laughs> Pay a little extra. You know. See they will throw you in jail at the gate <laughs> if you got warrants. <laughs> That's a little local background check. It only takes a couple minutes, so if you're clean, you're good, you know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But right now right behind us is a Saturn One, which they tested at uh it flew from the Kennedy Space Center. In Florida? Yes. Yeah, which we haven't been to yet. I, you Did you go to that when you were a kid? I believe so. Yeah. I don't remember, but i pretty confident 18 years I went there sometime. <laughs> I did, and I lived in Florida yeah. for several years too, and I, I never went there. But when we go to Florida, that's the plan to go, go by there too. Yep. Because the Space and Rocket Center here was, was really cool, and it's just... There's not much to this uh, rocket park, but no. it's just, it's still cool to see the big rockets. Yeah, it is. And They're so, big. Yeah, we're going to go check out the, the test site, and then we're going to go down and check out the uh, recreation area. They have another area on post here where you can camp, and it's like more down by the river, and I think it's uh, water and electric with no sewer. 
so we didn't take that option but i heard it's really nice down there so we're gonna go check that out this is the test site it's nothing really spectacular no it's got a little like launch pad back there with a little yeah. replica rocket but this is where the jupiter c was launched the jupiter c we just saw at rocket park yeah they tested the rocket that launched the first satellite and satellite astronaut national. into space yeah so it's a test this is only a test it's a dry run <laughs> <laughs> but anyway it's cool to see where they tested the stuff yeah and it led to some successful launches of satellites and yeah. astronauts into into space and uh yeah and so we got to see some of the actual stuff and some of the actual places it's cool you see the stuff on tv and you see the stuff in the history books and you learn about the stuff in school it's cool to see some of the stuff in real for life person yeah well the recreation area is pretty cool yeah it's very secluded it took us about 20 minutes to drive out here <laughs> yeah it's, out it's at the nothing. bottom of redstone arsenal and uh right behind us is the tennessee river yeah uh, we're sitting in a little pavilion we're running away from the mowers because they're out here mowing today uh, so so you could actually hear us talking but tennessee river's behind us and then right across the street that way is the row of rv spots um, I'm not sure how much it costs a night out here, but we, when they're not mowing, I'm sure it's very quiet <laughs> and peaceful out here. Yeah. And you get the river right here. There's a little area over there that they had like an inlet cut with a little dock and see so people could go swimming. Mm -hmm. Leslie would not no. go swimming. Absolutely not. In it. She would pass out if she fell in it. I, I would die of shock and drown. <laughs> she doesn't swim in anything that she can't see through. Right. She'll pass out. Yeah. She'll go right to sleep. Out like a <laughs> goner. It's a cool party trick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we play a game called night. Will She Float? <laughs> <laughs> Sink like a rock. <laughs> oh man. Right. But today was pretty cool. Got to explore post a little bit. And uh, the best part about the day was, how much did it cost us? <laughs> Zero dollars today spent on exploring sightseeing us. and exploring. So we got to see Rocket Park and the, and the test site. And then we came out and check out the recreation area. And there's some other cool stuff on post. It's Nas just, just NASA drive has pass. a lot of, of yeah. stuff on post. And the materials command was huge. Building yeah. an area and then they had uh, just a bunch of cool a lot of labs. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you know, they do they're researching like space and rockets and stuff, so they gotta test a bunch of stuff. And there was an environmental test site, so I'm sure it's like soil stuff and. Yeah, I'm sure you noticed that at the missile test site there was a lot of wooded area. Uh, if you look back on old pictures of Redstone, it was it's, not there's like just that. Red dirt. Yeah, and. I guess that's why they call it redstone. <laughs> but and back then in the 50s and 60s when they're doing all that, they couldn't have all the foliage because the rockets would just burn it, burn it all up at the at the test site. But it's growing back up now, so it, it kind of looks like you're like, how would they test a rocket there without burning down the woods? They they really wouldn't With nowadays. No woods at the time. But last time they used that site was like 1961. It said or something like that. Yeah. So it's been a hot Early second 60s. since they've done a new <laughs> testing out there. But um, Man, week one, full time on the road in the books. What was your favorite thing in Huntsville? Week one. Well, I mean, outside of the Space Center, because that's like the biggest thing. Yeah. Here, would be downtown. Downtown was cool. Downtown, downtown really downtown. was cool. It was nice, just to hang out. It was. It didn't feel like you were downtown. Yeah. Because the big park. There's there. a couple parks. Yeah. Huntsville was great. We had a great time here in Huntsville and like we do at the end of all of our videos We're gonna honor a fallen hero and we appreciate you guys watching and we're on to the next city yeah. Look out <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.